Hey guys, this is a video that's been requested from a few of you. I, I wanted to do this one along with a few others, uh, a few other comparisons. And we've got the Convoy L8 and the Convoy L21B, both larger, you know, relative to my other flashlights anyway, larger throwing lights. Okay, I've used them both for a significant period of time. So I want to just explain to you some of the differences in case you're looking to get any of these lights, okay? And uh, the L8, when I got it, actually came with, this, with the cell in here, but it, it contains a 26800 cell. It's a fairly uncommon cell, okay? Compared to the L21B, which contains a 21700 cell. I'm just gonna take them out to show you the difference in size, and um, really quite significant. I mean, it just makes that 21700 look like a, like a baby. Uh, next to it, okay, but uh, you know, it's a unique choice from Convoy to use the 26800 cell and there's a supplier here in Melbourne and I've been able to get us another spare cell for it, but otherwise they can be a little bit tricky to come by, okay, but uh, yeah, you do, you can get the, the cells, both these cells with either the flashlights and they don't come with anything else. Uh, I think the L8 comes with the charging cable, but with the L21B, this is pretty much it. I just got that and the battery and a bit of insulation plastic on the inside, you know, fantastic. As long as the, the light does what it needs to do, I'm happy. So let's talk a bit about the construction, okay, and the actual design of, this, of these lights. And you can see the knurling for both of them are quite different. Okay, you've got more of an aggressive knurling on the L8, and it has uh, SBT 90.2 produces a hell of a lot of heat. So I think this kind of knurling is, uh, these cutouts of knurling is definitely uh, warranted, you know, to increase that surface area, making sure that flashlight doesn't produce too much, uh, doesn't hold too much heat. Whereas the L21B has a more elegant design. There's not any cutouts on the bezel, a little bit down here, uh, near the bottom of the pill and the start of the battery. But apart from that, that's pretty much it, okay? Knurling is even a little more subtle here on the side. Um, also, the big difference is that this button here in the L8 has a separate button, like a side switch, whereas the L21B, you've got that uh, back switch, that tail switch here as well. So really different ways that you're gonna be handling both of these lights. I don't think it would make sense to have a tail switch on the L8. It's just going to be too head heavy to to uh, to use. So looking at the emitters of both of these flashlights, really big difference here. The SBT 90.2 on the right for my L8 just dwarfs that CSL PM1 on the left. Okay, but uh, they both throw very very far. You've got these uh, smooth reflectors as well, maximizes the throw on both of the lights. There's a retaining ring on the inside near the LED as well, which helps center the flashlight. Okay, both the lights, again, you can sort of unscrew and get into, do whatever you need. Uh, you know, Convoy don't use any glue or anything on their flashlights, which is fantastic in case you want to modify them. Now, in terms of performance, you're going to get a lot more lumens out of the L8, probably more than double the lumen output of the L21B. It's just a larger emitter, it produces uh, more light in general. But when we come down to candela rating, which is basically the range of the flashlight, this F1 emitter, the CSL PM1 F1 emitter, it actually outthrows the L8 by a hundred plus meters, which is really impressive considering that's a smaller flashlight um, but you know I think it has to do with just the uh, miniaturization of the the uh, CSL PM1 emitter it's very very small in there but produces a lot of lumens for its size okay but at the end of the day you're gonna have to decide for yourself which one is best for you you know the beam profiles are different as well the L8 has got a much larger hot spot and more spill whereas this one has a smaller hot spot and um, not so bright spill just you know it's pretty bright but uh, compared to that one the l8 definitely produces a lot more spill you know there's also the question of weight i mean 
a lot heavier, the L8, compared to the L21B. The L8 is 583 grams, whereas the L21B is 285 grams. This thing's over half a kilo, so it's quite hefty. So this one here I know is also used as a hunting light. People mount it on their rifles. Overall, if you need a super bright, long distance thrower, the L8, I mean, this thing just packs a punch. You can't beat that. Okay, this is more for wow factor and overall performance L8. But if you're wanting a high candela flashlight that can outthrow the L8, you know, this is a really good option. The L21B with the CSL PM1.F1 host. You can also get it in the white version, but that's not going to throw as far. It's only going to throw one kilometer. Okay, so that's why I actually got the F1 version i wanted to maximize i wanted to see what it was capable of in this host okay we'll cut to the beam shots but before we do I'd just like to remind you to like the video if you're enjoying it and if you want to see me make more flashlight reviews make sure you subscribe i've got the l21b the csl pm1.f1 green led and i'm going to put that up against the convoy l8 which uh until now has been my strongest led thrower let's have a look at the L8 first. That's on turbo and absolutely breathtaking. Every time I turn this thing on, I just lose my mind. I mean, it's just illuminating. Good amount of spill as well, all the way to the end of that oval. Okay, let's turn on the convoy. Okay, L21B. Okay, and... Um, I'll say, it's hard to say really, it looks very close, very close, but the L21B may have just a slight edge, and you can see the different beam profiles as well with that PM1 emitter, you've got, uh, you know, much smaller hotspot, and I'm trying to just illuminate that center area. Right over there to see it's really a difference oh, I mean they look very very almost on par but the L21B does produce less light and you can tell also in the spill the spill of the beams uh, here on the ground with the L21B on the right and the L8 on the left uh, you know, the spill is significantly brighter on the left with the L8. Okay. They're both getting a little warm, but the L8 is significantly warmer than the L21B. I'm just trying to see if maybe they'll start ramping down. The L8 is still, I mean, it's very much almost on par, but the L21B might be a little bit brighter. It's very hard to tell. Uh, let's get on the L8 first. My God. I mean, this <laughs> thing always does my head in when I turn it on. Looks like it's blowing out the camera sensor. Uh, look at that. It's light. It's It's even getting that building all the way in the back there. I've got to figure out what that is, what building that is. And here on the right, I've got my um, got my L21B. Okay. That's actually really handy, These both of these lights, because you can see right at the base of those trees at the back. So if you wanted to look, especially just illuminate the base of those trees, it actually covers Yeah, it really cuts through the foliage. Okay. Especially that green. Just... Here we go, there's a larger tree in this to the right here. All right. All right. I'm trying not to point it at the ground because it's just blowing out the, the camera sensor. Okay. Got a significantly larger hotspot with that L uh, L8 versus the L21B. 
terms of the intensity of the hot spot, I mean, there's not a huge, I wouldn't say there's a huge difference. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely holding their throw. Their range, 